Children, make sure you ask your parents why abortion's legal in America today. Why just having a good opinion saying abortion's wrong isn't enough? Why we actually have to do something about it? Ask your parents what they've done to help make abortion illegal in Texas. We go pray in front of Planned Parenthood. Why are you guys parked out in front of our church and we don't support it? Well, because there's a difference between having a good moral opinion and not doing anything about it. Going out and praying in front of Planned Parenthood will not help it be illegal. Actually, the one that we prayed in front of is now shut down. Well, the reason it's shut down is because they make bigger and better um, abortion clinics. Abortion is much larger now than it's ever been. You can go to Walgreens. We totally agree, man. All right, so well, here's what we're saying. All right, go to abolishhumanabortion.com. We're not asking you to support us, okay. but it talks about what we, what does Christianity look like in a culture where child sacrifice is legal. It's a lot more than just prayer. It's okay. actions. It's talking to our congressmen and senators. You know there was a bill that your church didn't support and didn't have anything to do with it that would make abortion illegal in Texas, all right? They didn't even talk about it, all right? Okay. You know what the senators did? They tabled it. They put it away. They didn't vote on it. They didn't do anything. Okay. You know how many, there's like six or seven pastors in the state of Texas that actually came out to support the bill, that actually rallied some troops. There was like a thousand people, okay. 1,000 people. That was it that came okay. to Austin. And I'm assuming your church is one of them? Yeah. Yeah, our church was one of them. Okay. Which yeah. one is it? Can we I do home it? church. We okay. homeschool and home church. We can't okay. go to a, this is a 501c3. This is a corporation. Okay. All right. So it's a we, nonprofit. Right. But it's a nonprofit corporation. Corporate worship. It's right, a corporate and en entity. All right. It's I not. Just, it's not a church. You're the church. Totally we can't expect. Yes. We can't no. expect them no, to do anything. We have to thing. expect you to do something. Right. No, so agree. all we're saying is, evaluate yourself. Okay. Repent of your apathy, and let's do things about it that'll make it illegal. Okay. Like supporting a crisis pregnancy center, that do, that will never make abortion illegal. No, I understand right? what you're saying. So I, you guys just need to know that when you're out in front of our church, it almost it, it actually comes across more insulting than moving us to action right it implies that we're right. not doing jack you know what and yeah that, that's, and that's that basically the truth though right that's basically the truth no, do you know not. in texas there's thirteen thousand kids in foster care waiting to be adopted yeah but I'm, nobody I'm, wants I'm, them right nobody wants them this church alone could adopt every single one of them that's great all right man. And we but have there's but there's thirty thousand churches in texas seventy thousand pastors we as a state of Christian men are not taking care of the least of these. Okay. We're not keeping the main thing the main thing. All right, these children, all right, these children actually need to be loved and cared for. And we're not doing it as a community, as godly men. We don't care about them. We don't speak out about it. You know, we don't defend the innocent. We don't, we're not a voice for the voiceless. We're not doing those things. What we do is we go to church and then watch football and life's good, man. We're building our kingdoms. We go fat in the day of slaughter. I'm guilty of that. Well, no, I understand, I understand what you're saying. I'm gonna go on abortion with my family. I guess I just wanted to make the point. We're having these conversations with our kids. Our kids actually, in their school, said we're not voting for it when they do their fake election right. thing, right? In their school, we don't vote for Hillary because she thinks it's okay to kill, kill babies in mommy's tummies. Our kid actually said that in public school. Yeah, well, that's good. So does Trump, by the way. Out. So well, does Trump. I know, and I didn't vote for Trump. <laughs> right, I didn't. So, um, nor did my wife. So and we're so, just trying to shine light on the subject because nobody is a voice for these kids. Just, right? it comes across as until I would, I know. it seems like it would make more sense Dude, to go to a Methodist If you came to me, no, 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 stuff. because they're evil and wicked, right? They don't, they're, they don't know and understand the Bible. They're not following God. Well, it, the them, repentance yeah. turns to, the, you know, repentance starts to the house of the Lord. No doubt. Like if we want revival, the church has to repent because we're just living this nice, beautiful, comfortable life, right? Okay. We should be sacrificed. We should bring it up our but cross. Same, I'm not saying that you shouldn't talk to me, but please don't bring it up to my kids that I'm walking in. That is my job. Yeah, and we are in agreement. On, hold on. Okay. And we're in agreement on that. And I appreciate that you're letting us dialogue here and you're not just right. shouting me down. I really do because I feel like we could probably sit here and talk and accomplish some things together. Yeah. However, just consider that going forward as far as talking right. to the kids. Talk to the parents because it does start with them. It doesn't start with the kids. I do agree that it's yeah. fine for the kids to ask the questions, but that's what was insulting and that's what made me want to come over and at least make sure we we'll see. I, I, go in. I have I accomplished my goal, right? Because if I was just saying nice pro lifey things to you, you'd be like, yeah, I'm pro life you know, and you keep walking, right? But I, I know this is gonna be one of those things where you, I shine light on and, and people call it insulting, but we don't want the kids to grow up as evil and wicked and complacent as their parents who don't actually do anything to make it legal. What does Christianity look like in a land where child sacrifice is legal? What should it look like? Oh, I think God's judgment is coming and coming right. quickly. Right, and, it, and it'll befall me too, right? Because yeah. I live in the land. Sure. So, but at least when I die and stand before God, I've repented of my apathy, and now I'm doing things. We actually went to the Republican um, convention, and literally we're like crazy people, right? But we'd walk up to them and say, hey, look, 
you're in the government, you need to repent of regulating child sacrifice. Stop saying when, where, and how you can kill babies. Repent, make it illegal. You know what the number one plank was at the end of the Republican convention? To make abortion illegal in the land. But you know who stopped it? The pro-lifers. Because they don't think they should actually, that it should actually be legal. That women who get pregnant and have abortions and kill their babies should actually go to jail for it. They're, they're a victim too. What they want to do is they just want funding, all right? So good, godly men need to stand up and be a voice for these kids. Yes. You don't have to stand. I'm not saying help us, help me, help our organization. We're not an organization, by the way. But what I'm saying is, is do the work. We are. Do the work. Not, I, you're right. And I'm not disagreeing, actually, with virtually anything you say. Right. The approach I would differ on now that. Right. Well, that we can probably talk about all day. But nobody but. likes the light of Christ shined on them or their no. organization or church, right? Because you're, because you're like, oh, well, we're a good church. I'm well, a good guy. I'm not like an evil guy. I'm not like raping women. No, we're all sinners and we're all right. 